Let's go, baby. Oh! Oh! Let's go! What's up, Alfonso Nation? Alfonso Peterman is here today, baby, and welcome one and welcome all to another episode of my Teletran unboxing series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a figure that I found in a recent hunt, and I have really enjoyed the hunt. That particular hunt, you can check it out. I have the link for that below. I found several of these guys, and now it's time to unbox it. And of course, I'm talking about Studio Series 60. A left foot, baby. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Left foot, the Target exclusive. The Red Raka is in my possession. And when I saw the initial render, I wasn't too, like, oh my god, you know, impressed. But then whenever I found it in person, and I think I said this, I said, wow, this is much cooler than I thought. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. I'm going to show you guys the packaging. I'm sure you've seen it. Uh, it's all over YouTube. People are loving it. A lot of people are getting this. Um, and then, of course, so you got him on the side. Uh, there you go again. Front shot. Beautiful. I love this little shot there. And, of course, you got him on the side there again. Pretty cool stuff. And then on the back, there you have him displayed beautifully and shown on his robot alt mode. Of course, he's an official GM. You know, the whole partnership with Target. Uh, Target exclusive. And the description says, Left Foot and the Wreckers turn the Decepticons into scrap. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that description. Because it's, it's literally their main job is to wreck. And one thing I really like about it is that he does come with a little steel jaw. <laughs> which they didn't have to do. Uh, but they did. I think it's because the guns are built into his design. They don't have to come separate. Uh, and so they might as well just add a separate accessory, which is still job, which we didn't really see uh, in Dark of the Moon. So, without further ado, let's unbox it. Let's go, baby. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Okay, I was, I stand corrected. He does have weapons. Oh, that's so cool! He has a little Gatling gun. He's got the little, like, handheld rifles. He's got some missiles. And he has still jaw. Dude, I don't think we've gotten this much accessories in the deluxe figure. Like, this is, this is very rare to get all of that in one. They're very small uh, because it's supposed to fit with his design. But usually, it's only one accessory. You know, like, it's the figure and then, like, one thing. Like, you know, still jaw. I didn't expect to see the, the guns. I did not know he came with them. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I don't watch reviews of this stuff. I don't watch, like unboxings of other like I just I literally just didn't think and he doesn't he's not like tied to he's not tied up like you know how they have like these little plastic ties to keep it together I think he's so stocky that they just wrapped the plastic around him so you can literally just pull him out I think oh <laughs> he's such a little chubby dude like he's so chubby guys oh my god I love it there you got Leadfoot from Dark of the Moon. This guy's beautiful, man. Let's go. They did so good with this. They did way better with the I didn't, I, dude, dude. I just wasn't expecting it to look this nice. I mean, the feet, obviously, from what I see, it's a little like you know, it's 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 you got some car parts kind of chopped up in there. But when I looked at his body render, it's not that far off. The feet in the body render is kind of like that. It has like a little bit of a, I don't know. It's like it's it has some bulk in the feet. So this is technically accurate, you know, if we're taking it that way. Um, now I do see where they try to divide the chest because like his chest is not one giant piece. It's like four car pieces that kind of like dangle around that form a, like an overall look. And I see where they try to like make some breakage. To show, to kind of like, you know, demonstrate that. But I like it. I, he's such a stocky little dude. Like, <laughs> I just had to laugh when I saw him. I was like, oh my god. Here we go. Steel jaw time. Oh, dude. Steel jaw is dope. There you got Steel jaw. And there he is. He's got like that silver painting for like the pipes on the back. And then he has nice detailing all around him. 
from head all the way down, even under him. You got some cool detailings, some little rivets under his belly, and the little face mold is so freaking great. Like, I'm not even kidding, this is really well done. And they didn't have to do this. They did not have to add steel jaw. Okay, we got one gun. <laughs> I had to fight with this thing. Like, <clears throat> literally had to fight to get these little guns out. They're so tiny, and they basically wrapped the plastic around them. I actually, in, in, in that case, I would prefer the, like, the plastic little strings that they would use to like apply them because that's a lot. This is one shot of one of the guns right here. Got some nice little detailings on that. He's got his missile racks, which I think is a really nice touch. Um, they're painted all black right here. There you go. Missile racks for the win. There you go. And then they've got like three of them on each. And then he's got two of these. Oh, look at this guy. Look at the little Gatling gun. This is a cool one. I like this. This is kind of my favorite one. This has got to be my favorite one right here. Very nice touch. I I like this. I really do like this. I'm pretty sure these other guys are probably for his alt mode, but you can peg it on the robot mode. He does have a pretty substantial backpack, but of course it is kind of like flush. And it doesn't hinder his legs from moving that much. That head sculpt is pretty cool. I love the chest. I love the... I love the stomach, the big belly area. Uh, really, really nice details all around him. Very, very cool. I mean, this guy is sharp. This guy is sharp. So anyways, guys, that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on it. If I had to rate Studio Series Left Foot on a scale from 1 to 10, I would say he's about a good 8 out of 10. I think he's really, really good. I think he's really nice. The painting could have been a little better, but it's a deluxe figure, and I'm not going to complain. I really like the, the sculpt, and I love everything that he comes with. He's a fantastic addition to Studio Series. I know I didn't go over the articulation or the alt mode or any of that. I This is like my first restructuring of Teletrain Unboxing. I'm not going to go too deep into the figures, because this is just an unboxing, where I take him out and just share my initial thoughts. I'm not going to go over any of the specifics because that's where it becomes a review and I'm trying to reformat that to where it actually just fits for what it's intended to do. But I like the figure nonetheless and I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This is your Teletron Unboxer and I will catch you guys in the next one. Till all are one.